Hi, I'm Dana, and today I'd like to share my sales from this past weekend, which was uh, September 2nd and 3rd, and I had um, six sales on eBay and four on Poshmark, and um, a lot less this week weekend than in you know, the last couple weekends, and I think it's because uh, a couple reasons. Um, one is I went away um, to Santa Barbara that one last weekend. And because of that, I was um, not sourcing as much um, really good items. Um, and just because I had less time to spend on sourcing. And the second reason is I did decrease my uh, what I'm listing now. Um, just so that I can focus in on getting higher dollar items. And um, I think it's a combination of the two that is uh, making my sales a little bit slower. But, you know, hopefully, you know, things will ramp up as um, things, you know, I get one, um, I start getting better items. And two, I um, get back into my um, routine. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start with eBay sales. Let's see, okay. So, uh, first item that um, I'll ship out is this Kadeem Sasan tunic shirt. And this one I actually picked up at the Goodwill store. And um, I saw this uh, tunic shirt and it was in the men's section. Um, you know, I passed right by it. And then, uh, you know, I never heard of uh, Kadeem Sasan before. But after I passed by it a couple times, I decided to go ahead and just um, put it into my... Um, my little cart and you know go ahead and look up comps and when I looked up comps that's when I realized that this was a, a designer brand and um, it did fairly well as far as um, sell-through rate so I decided to go ahead and even though I've never heard of it um, and um, what else? Oh, it didn't have uh, the material tag on it anymore, but it does feel, it has a feel like either some sort of natural material, like either cotton or hemp, maybe. So I decided to go ahead and, and pick it up. Um, and it had some kind of interesting architectural details to it, uh, like with the, the sleeve um, and very sort of a modern... Uh, aesthetic. So I, oh, I just noticed that my, my best friend is calling me, <laughs> but I'm not going to pick it up and I'll call her back. Hopefully everything's okay. Um, yeah. So let me give you the title of this one. Oh. Uh, it's Kadim or Kadem. I, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Sasan. Uh, tunic shirt, women, 50 inch chest, gray button cutout sleeves, lag and look. Um, and I did find out that this uh, designer brand um, really focuses in on sort of um, architectural um, aesthetic as well as lag and look. So um, this one sold for $45 and it sold in a day sold in one day after listing so um you know i'm i'm very happy with this sale i purchased i purchased this top tunic top for i think it's 9.99 so ten dollars and I actually work off of an average cost of goods rather than, you know, uh, an actual cost of goods. So my average cost of goods is about a dollar. It might have gone up a few cents um, after, you know, the last round of purchase, but um, I have to kind of double check that and see. 
but because I'm primarily a bin shopper, I think that's why my cost of goods is, is really low. So in the end, um, it's sold for 45. So, you know, I'm making well above my $20 profit, probably more like, I don't know, like 30, 35. So this is a great sale for me. Um, oh. ready okay next is um a outer known sweatshirt and outer known is uh a brand by a famous surfer i i want to say kelly slater i might be wrong on that but anyways um so Outer Known is a um, popular brand. And so when I saw this, and I can't remember where I picked it up from, if it was at a store or if it was at the bins. Um, but with Outer Known, I'm gonna go ahead and um, pick it up. Let's see. This one sold for uh, $28.80. And hopefully it was from the bins because if it was from a store, it would have been um, ten dollars. Uh, if it was from out of the closet, it would have been. They have they have different markdown sales, so it's a little bit harder to to judge. Um, to kind of like figure out what the cost price was. It could be anything from a dollar to 50% off of their list price or 30% off. Um, I'm gonna do this one. So, and then, you know, did I say how fast it's sold? This one also sold in a day. So this is another fast sale. And I probably could have waited on this one and not accepted it so quickly, but I think my sales were slow this weekend, so I just went ahead and um, accepted offers. And actually, I think that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't an offer from a buyer. I think it was an my offer to a watcher so so yeah so it's okay it's fine it's a good sale it would be a great sale if it was from the bin so but you know since i'm going off of average cost of goods it's, it's a great sale <laughs> i know it's sort of confusing it was really pretty easy when i was just up a bin shopper and now that I'm going to the thrifts it, it adds a little bit more complexity to my business but you know that's okay I I think it's good for me to um, you know get out of my comfort zone and and try um, try different things so okay so next Next item is this vintage Juicy Couture uh, velour track pants. Uh, you know, uh, black with a nice wide waistband. And what's really cute about these um, pants are they're super wide legged right there. So just really seems very comfy, cozy. Um, let me see where the title is. Vintage Juicy Couture Track Pants Women Large Black Velour Wide Leg Low Rise 90s Y2K is the title. And this one sold for $30 and it did take a while to sell. This one took June, July, August. Oh, it took two months to sell. So that's really, um, two months is great. 
uh, a great amount of time you know I'm I'm happy with this and then I'm gonna just do a little bit I do like to pick up Juicy Couture um, especially the tracksuits very I think it's still popular I also have in the past I have picked up Juicy Couture uh, purses or their handbags and those did do really well so um and that was actually probably a year and a half ago so you know i'm i'm assuming that they still would will do well but you know i haven't sold one for that long so i can't really say for sure and that's the whole thing with reselling is you know fashion and trends they really come and go pretty fast so i think um, it's really up to us to stay on top of the trends and that can be that can be challenging you know things always changing okay I don't know why there's this big lump right there which I don't like but I'm gonna go with it and this one was a little bit over a pound. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, ship it in this flat rate padded envelope. Um, Yes, so I um, mentioned that my sales were not um, as great this past weekend. Um, and, you know, I've, I knew that going away on the weekend, um, especially for something where, you know, my daughter is, is moving to um, a new place that's, you know, six hours away. Uh, I knew that was gonna be kind of a challenging move for me just because there were so many different things that need to be put into place. Um, and then, you know, to have her move successfully. And uh, I wasn't as focused on the reselling uh, business as I usually am. Um, so that's one thing. I knew that I wasn't, uh, for the other past weeks, I had been really focusing in on trying to find uh, really great items. And so because of that, uh, I think, you know, that's one reason why the sales are not as good as they were before okay so next item is this charles tearwit uh raincoat and min 40 navy 100 percent cotton overcoat lined classic fit is the title and it is just a classic sort of raincoat overcoat in you know, this uh, navy blue color. Um, it's, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a longer length, but it's not like floor length. And I had never heard of this brand, uh, Charles Tierwit. Um, so again, you know, when I'm at the bins, we have to move so fast um, before the rotation is over. And usually it's like a half an hour. So it's supposed to be every half an hour there's a rotation. 
Um, since, since it goes so fast, I'm just, anything that looks like it's, you know, good quality and I maybe, I haven't heard of the brand and then even the brand tag looks, looks nice. I'm going to just throw into my, um, my bag and, you know, hopefully if there's time between rotations, then I can go ahead and look up comps. So um, when I looked up comps on this one, it was, uh, you know, it had a pretty good sell through rate, found out that it could make the, you know, the, the profit margin that I'm looking for. So I went ahead and, you know, picked this coat up, so. And, you know, we're approaching that fall rainy season, so I really do hope that the, the buyer loves this, this coat. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, do that. Oh. So, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing well and um, that business is, is good, um, that we're out of that summer slowdown um, season and everybody's getting ready for Q4. I hopefully will be ready. Um, yes. My, you know, my youngest, um, she's over at Santa Barbara and she just started um, SBCC and, um, you know, I, I got a, I miss her a lot, you know, I'm, I mean, we, we go at it like cats and dogs sometimes because, you know, we don't see eye to eye, but I do miss her. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky that my, um, my older daughter is here and that she actually, her and her husband live downstairs. So that's great. But, um, anyways, but Emmy did call and she said, mom, I lost my wallet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just when she moved, you know? And so she was like, oh, we're going to you know, cancel my bank card and get a new driver's license and this and that. And then the next morning she said, oh, I found it. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm really, I mean, she's, she's notorious for losing things. So, you know, keys, whatever. Um, so I'm really hoping that that um, scared her into, you know, paying attention and being a little more responsible with her stuff. And it's going to be hard because she's living with six other girls in their little, their little apartment, you know, their little dorm. So I don't know, but you know, hopefully all will go well. Um, she did also, I, I called her and I said, how things, how are things? And she said, mom, I have so much homework. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know. College is different than high school. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. She's, you know, she's always had difficulties with school and she's um, been diagnosed as dyslexic. So, um, because of the dyslexia, um, you know, traditional school is, is really challenging for her. And um, I think because of that, you know, low self-esteem, you kind of like stop focusing and stop trying, um, all kinds of things. So we really had to figure things out, you know, through the years. Um, okay, so next item is a let's see hopefully I went through everything 
Oh, did I say the, the um, raincoat, the Charles uh, Tierwit uh, raincoat, um, it sold for $39.20. So um, let's see. And it just, it took about, it took about two or three days to sell. So that was, to me, that was a great sale. You know, I'm very happy with, um, with that sale and that profit margin. Okay, next is a legendary white tails flannel shirt. Plaid, and I've had this one for a really long time. So um, it was actually sold um, because of a markdown sale that I have on eBay. And I'm very, I was very aggressive with my markdown sale for older items. So I really just wanna clear clear out the older items as much as I can because I was almost thinking about donating, um, you know, the older items. But then, you know, I'm part of the uh, Reseller Nirvana um, Patreon Facebook group. And so what they really recommend is before you donate, you try to... Um, um, Try to sell the items first before you just donate you know so that really made sense to me and so that's why i decided to go ahead and do uh i think it was a 60 percent uh markdown sale on items that were i don't know like even from 2022 so a year old um and then i had another tier um where it was just 50 percent. so um really just hoping to clear out items so that being said the i sold this one for eight dollars and i think um I think it was something like it was marked down to like, I don't know, $9.80 or something. And a buyer went ahead and offered me $8 and I just went ahead and accepted because I just want to move this item out. Um, I could have probably like delisted and sold similar um, because we're entering into the fall season. But I just decided to, you know, clear it because I don't think this... I don't think this item would um, bring me the $20 profit, um, even if I did, you know, relist it or uh, sell similar. So that's why I decided to just go ahead and let it go. And, you know, before I pick up a legendary white tails flannel shirt, I would be sh sure to check comps and see how the sell through rate is and how um, how much profit I could make. You know, I'm just trying to be really careful about every item that I pick up. Um, if I do make a mistake and I don't have it at the right um, profit margin or sell-through rate, I can go ahead and try to sell it over to the buy-sell trades or to my friend's consignment shop. So that's kind of how I've been how I've been doing things. So, this one, um, the, I think I charge a flat rate shipping um, cost, and so if it's over a pound, um, and not, you know, way over. Um, and it can fit into one of these um, envelopes. Oh wait, I gotta do this. Some people can uh, use these cardboard envelopes um, and they have no problem <laughs> oh it's 
scooping right there. Yikes. They have no issues, but I definitely am not great at at um, using these envelopes. So it's just harder to get the items in there. But because this was, um, you know, an $8 sale, um, not much profit on there, I decided to go ahead and um, choose the, um, the legal flat envelope. And then that way, um, I make a, a tiny bit of profit off of the um, shipping. And what I do is I charge $9.75 for, you know, something that's over a pound. And I think the legal flat rate envelope costs, costs us uh, resellers $7.90. Um, but if you buy, were to buy this or purchase this size at the post office, it's um it costs more so we get a little discount on ebay okay so okay last ebay sale that's gonna get shipped out is this i think it's let me just grab this a uh, karen millen dress and it's really a, a really pretty dress black dress it's um taffeta and it has all these pleats, so it is a fit and flare taffeta cocktail dress at about the knee length. Um, it also has a bow right here. I don't know if you can see it just because it's black. And it has um, kind of a, a lower um, v-neck um, opening. So anyways, this, this dress, I was not familiar with Karen Millen. Um, says England, so I think she's an English designer, and I just felt like the quality of this dress um, was was very very nice. So uh, again, you know, picked it up at the bins. I checked comps. Comps looked okay, and so I, I you know I thought let's let's take this dress home and hopefully it it sells. So let me just, I'm going to start the, let's see, oh yeah, okay. I'm going to start the fold before, it's got really, really nice details like the pleating at the sleeves, um, you know, it has this bow, um, sort of this box pleating at, at the skirt, um, so there's a really, really lovely details on this dress. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this in. Okay, and that's, let me put that at the bottom. Okay, so the title is Karen Millen Dress Women for Black Taffeta Fit Flare Pleated Knee Length Cocktail is the title. And this sold for $30, um, and it took, let's see, oh, this. so it took uh, like a month, month and a half to sell. So that's, this is a great sale, a great sale for me. Um, you know, I think I would definitely put another Karen Millen dress into my cart to, uh, you know, check comps on because I think this is a, I gotta figure out, I think I'm gonna do this, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I think that's better. This dress, um, you know, because it was knee length, 
um, that made it a little easier to photograph. Uh, however, because it's black, it makes it hard. So I'm not great at uh, photographing black items. Um, and it's so funny because I think most of the items that sold this weekend were, were black or, you know, close to black, like navy. So lots of dark colors. Um, this past weekend. Okay. Alrighty. And then this one, actually, this one weighed over a pound. However, um, I chose USPS Ground Advantage um, to ship it out because the cost, um, it was more cost effective. Um, than just priority mail or even, you know, sending it out um, like flat rate priority. So I actually really um, like USPS Ground Advantage um, because it's not just um, pertaining to um, things that are a pound under a pound. So I like that. Okay, let's see. So I have a few Poshmark sales to go through, but I thought I'd go ahead and give some shout outs to people who commented on the last video, which was uh, sold to shipped 83. And let's see. Oh, hi, Laderia. Thank you for your comment. So Ledetia says, great sales, thanks. Um, yes, thank you, Ledetia. Um, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to send me this awesome comment. And, you know, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Oh, hi, Nequina, also known as Nicole. Uh, so Nicole says, great video. So I finally got on eBay and sold my first item. I've got 40 listed. Oh, that's great. How exciting. Um, I'm terrified of eBay. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I hear you on that. Um, their fee structure is confusing to me and I'm terrified of a return. Oh yeah, I totally get it. Um, I feel like I've been spoiled from Poshmark for the last two years. Yes, Poshmark is... Um, I don't know, I feel like it's very friendly towards sellers. And, you know, it does have a high platform rate of 20%. However, I do appreciate um, sort of uh, the support that Poshmark gives us resellers, you know, especially with um, cases that are opened and things like that. And shipping, and shipping is another thing that I, I appreciate. Uh, I decided to do flat rate shipping as you do. Okay. Um, I haven't listed anything big or heavy yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's really crickets over there though. Oh, okay. Um, uh, everyone says it's the place to be. Uh, yes. And then I noticed. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, flat rate shipping, um, the other choice you can do is calculated um, shipping, and I don't even know how to do that, and I, I don't know, I was watching a bunch of different uh, YouTube videos, and to me, I like the way uh, flat shipping, flat rate shipping worked. It was just so much easier for me to understand, and what happens is, um, you know, the, your, your buyer pays this flat rate price, and um, so, you know, hopefully sometimes you might go a little over and sometimes you might go a little under, but all in all, hopefully it kind of averages out, you know, so that you're not losing money. And oftentimes you can actually make a little bit of money off of shipping. Um, and so then what happens for me is I have different tiers 
of the flat rate shipping and it's all based off of size and weight so anyways um okay yeah so you know uh nicole you you've only have 40 listed so you're a brand new seller on ebay and yeah it is quite scary and everything but you know um but yeah don't worry it'll be okay um my suggestion if it's crickets um and this is just the way i this is the way i did it on ebay in the beginning was i had no um what do you call it? reviews i didn't have any reviews and i feel like reviews are important um on these platforms and i think you know people um buyers are looking at reviews to see if you know you're trustworthy and so what I did in the beginning was I made sure my list price was very competitive and very low um, because why would they buy from me if I have no reviews, you know what I mean? So I did that and then I was just very, what you call, um, I answered questions. I uh, commented to cust uh, potential customers. I sent out offers. Um, I sent out more aggressive offers too. And then even after I made the sale, I kind of talked to them and said, oh, thank you so much. I'm going to send this out right away. You know, just really overdoing it. Um, and um, that way, you know, I could start building up reviews. And then, you know, um, I think once you reach so many reviews, I don't know, maybe 10 or something, then um, you can kind of relax a little bit, or at least I did. I relaxed a little bit and wasn't quite, quite so, um, I don't know, into it, you know? Um, but anyways, that's the way I did it. And, um, you know, after you get some reviews and stuff, I think, you know, you'll see more sales. So anyways, um, oh, and then, uh, Nicole also says, I'm the same way. I've always have YouTube on when I'm working, photographing, inputting, steaming. But the minute I start listing, I want silence. Yes, I'm, you know, I notice that when I do list and I do have, let's say, a video on, I'm much slower. And I really want to try to get the focus and get those listings done. Also, you know, um, I'm also afraid of making errors and mistakes on the listings too. So, uh, uh, and, and I just saw your cute face <laughs> on a replay of daily refinement zoom meeting on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. It's so funny because, uh, now I'm in those little squares, um, in the morning call with, uh, with Chris over at uh, Daily Refinement. And um, it, it's funny because, you know, I guess, you know, Chris has such a large audience. So more and more people are saying, hey, I saw you on um, Daily Refinement's video. And so anyways, it's, it's fun. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the group. So um, anyways, um, you know, Nicole, thank you so much for all these awesome comments. I really appreciate you. Oh, hi, Suze or Susie. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, so Suze or Susie says, I love your soul to ship videos. Very soothing. Oh, thank you so much for this um, really, really wonderful comment. It's so nice to hear feedback uh, like that. And, you know, um, because I've always felt like I'm not the most exciting person, um, you know, and I don't know, you know, I stumble over my words. I'm, you know, I don't talk fast. And, um, so I'm always kind of nervous that people are gonna be very impatient <laughs> with my videos. So I, I really appreciate hearing this, uh, this comment and, you know, for those of, uh, uh viewers, or people who are, you know, uh, don't like 
the way I do my videos and you know, now they can find other videos that suit them better. So, you know, that also makes a lot of sense to me. So anyways, Suze, thank you so much for this awesome comment. I really appreciate you. Hello, Emerald Style. Thank you so much for your comment. So Emerald Style says, hi, Dana. I have watched every single one of your shipping videos. Oh, wow. Don't change a thing. They are perfect. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you so much for this awesome comment. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. I, I really, really appreciate you. Um, I did write to you because, uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm doing this little homework assignment, um, as part of the reseller Nirvana group, um, there, they have a YouTube group within this group. And, um, we talked about, you know, creating a vlog. And so people, you know, create a vlog and, you know, um, the group can review it if, if we choose to go ahead and do one. And I've always wanted to try to do one. So I thought maybe I could do one to replace this week's, th this video. Um, but I think I'm going to need more time with it. It, it actually takes a lot of time to make a vlog, especially for me. So, um, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, do the sold to shipped. And, um, by no means would I replace vlogs um, you know, I'm not going to replace the sold to ships because, you know, this is, um, something that I enjoy doing. It also really fits into my routine. And so anyways, um, you know, but I, I thought I would try the vlog and, you know, if you guys can let me know, uh, what you think about it, you know, if I should continue doing it, um, let me know about that. But, um, Emerald style, this is such a great uh, feedback. Thank you so much. And, you know, I, I hope you're doing well. And I really appreciate you. Okay. So, yes, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and liked the videos. Um, thank you so much for all of your support. And I'm going to go ahead and start on the Poshmark sales. And... This is a swimsuit and I'm very happy to be selling it um, in this late season or early fall, I guess. Late summer, early fall. It is a Victoria's Secret one piece. And I thought it was a really cute style. It has this lace up um, front, um, you know, it plunges down to the belly button so you can reveal as much as you want because uh, the lace up makes it adjustable. And then the back, it has sort of this um, cheeky cut um, in the back. So I thought this was a, a nice looking swimsuit. I'm just trying to think about the best way to fold, fold this guy up or this girl up. <laughs> How do you want to be folded up, Missy? I think we'll do you like this. It has these really nice beads on the ends of the tie. There. Okay. That looks good. Uh, title is Victoria's Secret Swimsuit Women's Small One Piece Black Plunge Neck lace up cheeky is the title and this one sold for fifteen dollars and it took it took like a month and a week to sell so um pretty fast sell um thank goodness because it's you know it's the end of summer and what I, my strategy um, going into summer and spring was to pick up items that would have a fast sell through. And even if it's below the $20 um, profit margin. Okay, so this is. And 
The reason being is I wanted sort of sales velocity in my store during, you know, summer slowdown. So that meant, you know, even though, um, you know, some swimsuits and um, shorts and things like that um, don't have a high profit, they are desirable items during, you know, the warmer months. So that was my thinking. Am I going to do that next summer? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so. so and I did pick up this uh, swimsuit at uh, the Goodwill bins. Okay. All right. Oh, and I forgot. Yeah, I did mention. I mentioned the price and everything. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next are these cool hiking pants and they're um more of a wide leg pant and i mean these would be really cute you know hiking outdoors but also everyday use um and it has this contrast stitching which is really nice i, I i've always liked contrast stitching <laughs> I don't know, it just adds a, a nice little detail to clothing, I think. Let's see, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna start the fold. There. And... Title is Cool Pants, Women, Medium Brown, Cropped Cool Dry Stretch Performance, Wide Hiking is the title and it sold for $20 and it took five months to sell <laughs> five months so that's um actually pretty long period of time for me and judging that it was 20 it sold for $20 I also did sort of a uh this item was part of closet clear out um, markdown with Poshmark. So every so often I'll go ahead and do a closet clear out on older items in my closet. And then um, I don't I don't bring the price up again on older items. I just keep it and then I keep lowering it and it gets it gets like lower and lower as time goes on if it doesn't sell. So that's kind of my strategy for getting rid of uh, older items that are not as desirable or sought after. Um, but yeah, I think these are really cute pants. Okay, then next we have Anthropology Cloth and Stone Dress Women Extra Small Cream T Knit V Neck Neutral is the title. And you can see it has a cute sort of um, hemline. You can see there. Um, I, for whatever reason, I found a, quite a few cloth and stone items. Uh, during, I don't know, the last few times I went to the bins. And I don't know, I was feeling like I didn't want to list them. So I took them to my buy, sell, trade stores. And it was funny. I must have had like maybe five cloth and stone items. And, um, and I stopped at one, two, three. I stopped at four different um, stores to try to sell it and they all didn't take up this. So very interesting. You know, I thought that um, Cloth and Stone would be a popular brand, but maybe it's just not popular here in the, um, the Bay Area. I, I live in um, Oakland in 
California. So very interesting. However, so I went at home and rather than just donating all these cloth and stones, I said, you know, let me go ahead and list them. Um, because I don't know, I think that I think it's a, a really great plan. I mean, but what what do I know? <laughs> I really got to go off of what the customer wants, right? Um, so anyways, uh, this cute little uh, dress sold for $28 and um, it took just a couple of days to sell. So uh, anyways, I'm really happy that I listed this because this is my desired profit margin that I want to make. So very happy with the sale. So happy that I didn't donate it and I went ahead and listed it. Um, this particular item felt like it was in like, like new condition. So even more so, um, happy that it's sold. Okay. okay. All right. Last, last item is an unusual find. <laughs> um, this I found in the bins and it is what I researched, it's a vintage jacket. And after I researched it, I realized that it was a hunting jacket. Um, the brand is Bullseye Bill. And if you can see the tag, it it's just a really old uh, tag. Um, and then the other trippy thing that I couldn't figure out is it has sort of this weird apron or pockets on the inside and after researching what I learned is that's where you put the I don't know what you call it but the dead animals you know like the squirrels or the birds um, after you go hunting and that way you can carry it in your coat um, so that was, that was pretty interesting <laughs> anyways uh, really fascinating and it does have you know signs of wear i'm going to check the pockets and hopefully i don't find a dead animal in any of the pockets <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding so title is vintage bullseye bill jacket men xl green hunting canvas water repellent game pouch is the title and it's sold for forty dollars and it took hmm, oh yeah interesting it took like about three weeks to sell so this is a great sale for me i'm very happy about this pickup um i really find Selling vintage clothes is um, really interesting and um, and can be quite fun. Um, it can also be a big headache just researching and, and a big time suck. Um, so like if you're trying to list a whole bunch of items in a day, you know, researching a vintage item could really slow you down. But... Um, Luckily, this one sold. I'm really happy that it sold. Um, and I really hope that the buyer, you know, loves this item.
that's it for this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please uh, subscribe and uh, like the video and um, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.